and then we had dessert where uh, Buddha is at UVU. It's we'll a food day. day. Food day. <laughs> Hi, B. You won't have. You won't be See, sitting around. Once you're an instructor, he's in instructor mode. He doesn't even care that the TV camera's on. He's in an instructor on his job. Now, from one chef to another chef, right? Uh, you have to learn where to get your chef skills from. That's why we come to Todd. Let's highlight some students. Hey, Buddha, catch, catch! Oh! 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 Hey! That's the kind of trickery we do here at UVU Culinary Arts. By the way, Student Chef of the Year, Aaron Jones. Yay. And because of COVID, we've had to wait for a year, but we are gone. First week of August, she competes in Florida for the national title. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, Represent. baby! U V U. You. U V U. U. Yeah. 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 That's We're the over kind here. of fun you're gonna get at T and B. Come on. Who else? Here's, Who else? Here's Ming butchering some wonderful ducks. Breaking down ducks for the for the French dish today in our restaurant. Look at the precision in the What skill. year are you learning how to do that? This is third year. Third I mean, year. No, second year. Second, second year. year. Okay. Yep, not completed, but one, okay, and, one, okay. and, one and a half in. I love it, I love it. What about this student right here? I love yeah. Right here. Uh, she's making our bread today our, for our bread service. She's making gaugiers, which is a little French pastry. It's basically choux paste with cheese and herbs in it. And that goes with a French style biscuit as well as pumpernickel bread. Delicious. You make her nervous. She was doing so fine until you <laughs> showed up, Todd. You She's doing her great. Nervous. She always right. does How good. How about this young lady? Tell us of about course. this young lady. This is Catherine. She's running, she's running the kitchen today. She's our sous chef for the week. And uh, she's finishing the donuts we made earlier. Oh, yeah, and, she's uh, making them better. That's yeah, great. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. All right, over here. We have Jasmine and Tosh, our wonderful students. They're, they're, uh, they're here doing the line. Yeah. They're setting up all the things from the line. Now, obviously, you're an instructor and you have a certain set of skills that you're teaching these up and coming chefs, right? My question is, how much encouragement is given to them? Like, hey, if you have, uh, you know, some cultural background that you could bring into your cooking, please put that in it. Are you, is there a certain way you want your students to really cook? Yeah, so usually on our cultural background, we, we love that and support that, but we actually want them to steer away to learn more different culture. Yeah because they always want to tend to grab onto their, to their roots, own culture, right, to their right. safety, like, yeah, totally which understand. is totally fine. Great, love it. You're just so when, trying to when expand they, their When they knowledge. have their practical testing and things, you'll see a lot more of that culture come out. But we're trying to teach classic French cooking, yeah. and that's really what we focus on. And so for a lot of them, it's a whole new culture yeah. anyway. Well, I, I want, let's give all our students a round of applause. Yeah, oh, baby! Really of our food industry. We are in good hands. UVU, UVU, UVU. <laughs>